So in all our moves, all our moves must start and end like this. So your power is always at the end, which is your rear foot. And the way your power moves is always from one inch from your rear foot. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you can do it, just listen to the theory. You are always doing it like this. This is the pivot. This is one. So in order to finish this one move, you do, um, let's use a, ten, uh, a scale of 10. One here, two here, three here, four here, five here, six here, seven here, eight here, nine here. By the time you are on the ninth move, the lever, the handle is nine parts, and uh, the load is only one, on one part. So you start with an inefficient lever, and you end up, by the time you use the power, it's an e it's a fish, efficient lever. All moves are like that. And that move of shifting the pivot from one to nine must exist in all moves. A static model does not exist in reality. You move one joint at a time in the end like a snake. It starts with a one vertebrae. In the end, the whole snake waves like this here. But it, it starts from the, the bottom one like this here and all the way to the, from one end to another, one joint at a time. And that actually is a movement based on a lever. And uh, every move has a pivot. And the pivot moves from the back all the way to the front. Or you can move backward in a negative circle the pivot is in front, all the way comes towards your body. And uh, when you are doing that, your body moves like a snake, like a, a eel, like a fish. And at that point, when you look at how a snake works, you can't relate that to a pivot. You cannot relate that to a lever. The reason is because, let's say a snake will, in one action of the snake, when it moves, that curved move that snake does actually has, let's say, I'll just use a random number, it has 48 uh, pivots in it. And our human, we can only see one pivot at a time. When the snake can combine and smoothly execute, execute 48 uh, pivots in one move, one smooth move is like one, two, three, four, five, six. By the time it finishes one wave, there are 48 pivots in it. And our humans, when we try to do this, only when we do performances on the stage, we look very nice and flowing, cloud-like. When we actually ex execute an action, we cannot even complete one pivot. Because during one pivot, our body either is too loose or too stiff, it won't, won't go over. So now, you, once you understand that, you will know that when I say you are pushing hands, I say you have to go over. Go over means to finish one pivot action. So if you touch, you touch hand with your opponent, immediately where you touch, you complete one. As soon as you complete that one, you reverse it. Let's see, the first one is on the wrist area, the seven inch knife, somewhere below the wrist right here. When this one is finished, you see my hand, finished in here, the next one is close to your elbow. The next one is close to your shoulder. Next one is close. So this is finished. Can you see this is finished? A little pivot around here. And now the pivot is here. Now the pivot is here. Now the pivot is here. All the way backward down to your rear foot. And you can also do it forward from your foot, pivot on yourself until your pivot all, goes all the way to your hand. It's always this process. And that actually, we can link back to our original foundations. We only can possibly do a nine pivoted move. And that's this circle. A circle, the complete circle has nine pivots in it. Our circle is actually switching the pivot. The most basic model is a three pivot circle. That's why we say in with the elbow, turn with the waist, out with the hand. So the three pivots is elbow area, quad area, hand area. You're using these three to manipulate your body to create a circle. So it's actually three straight pivots. That's why when you finish it, with a static model, it looks like a triangle.